Hey y'all, this is your thrifting grandma. I am Corrine, and I'm gonna go make some coffee, and I'm gonna come back, and I wanna talk to you. Let me get get myself together. I wanna drop a little wisdom on you, you know, and share some things with you. All right, now you just hold tight, now don't go, because I want to drop a little bit of you know, wisdom, all right? And I can be your grandma, dead grandma, all right? Hold on. Y'all like my saloon doors. Uh -huh. Hold on. All right. Let me get this coffee. <laughs> I'm going to get this coffee and come back and I'm going to need to grind some more coffee on this going back from Don't leave now. Don't leave. Curry is just getting it together. Let me tell you this a little bit, you know, because what Grandma got to say today, y'all be waiting for it, okay? Anybody use sugar in the raw? I don't know what, if there's any benefit or whatever. I just like convenience of having one spoonful of sugar. Okay. Okay. Now, I don't know I need coffee. I need cream. It's all good, though, y'all. You know, I should have made my coffee before I came on, but okay, here I go, here I go. that knows me, been on my channel long enough, y'all know there's a few things that I love. I love my family, my friends. I love the Lord, my grandbabies, my children. Y'all know I love Marvin Gaye, right? Uh-huh. And I love my coffee. I don't have on any jewelry. I didn't put on any earring. I did put a little lip gloss on because you know, it's that season where everything, you know, your skin gets chapped. But anyway, this cup says, Jesus, and his name will be the hope of all the world. It's come from Matthew 12, 21. Okay. Let me take a sip of my coffee. Don't y'all run nowhere, because this might be a long one. The Lord has blessed me to be on this earth this past September 2nd. Even though my birth certificate have the fall, but September the second, the Lord blessed me to be here 73 years. Now I'm taking for granted, y'all. Cause in a twinkling of an eye, boom, I could have been just a memory. But that's neither here nor there. Let me tell y'all something. When y'all see me, y'all see a woman that has been through some stuff and I start crying, y'all. Y'all don't have to cry with me. You know what? I look back on YouTube, my first video where I was showing some hats. My husband and I thrift. We go to antiques. Our house has antiques in it. And we are antiques. Not as old as some of the stuff we got. Our house was built early, um, late 1930s or early 1940s, somewhere along there. Okay. I look back on YouTube. My first YouTube video was May 17th. I did a video. The first and second video, I was showing the hats that I had thrust. I'm going to tell y'all, when you look at me, when I made that video in May, we had just lost our second oldest son to suicide. Yes. I haven't talked about this because, you know, a lot of times you keep stuff bottled up and inside. 
And sometimes I just sit and cry. Y'all, I'm sorry, my bottom plate is... Okay, forget it. Sometimes you sit and you think about things. Y'all, I have been through the ring and But you know what? I still thank God. For the 43 years we had with our son. You know, when you see people, you don't know what demons they're fighting, what they're going through. He was such a private person. He only had one, one daughter. His wife had two sons. When you, when you see a person, you think they got it all together. You know what? A lot of times they don't have it together. That's just a facade, something they're putting on so you won't let on that. You know, something is just not, you know, the math is just not math. You know what I'm saying? But he was a private person. He didn't let anybody in. So to help keep me from going insane, y'all, I made a YouTube channel. I put up videos and I did this. I know the first, y'all know, I seen Mr. Beast and everybody say, oh, the first videos I made were horrible. They didn't lie. Because when you're doing it, you don't know what you're doing. You're just flying by the seat of your pants. And you know what? I got up enough. Uh, y'all, I am a fiddler at heart. And I like stuff to be just right. I'm a Virgo, so, you know, we're perfectionists. But I put up those videos, trying to keep, you know, something, having something that keep my head occupied, my mind occupied, keep me from going insane. There was some time I know people around me figure, she's going insane. But you know what? God said, no, you're my child, and I'm going to stick with you. We're going to get through this. And y'all know what? He stuck right there. We we ain't fully there yet, but you know what? I'm not where I was February 17th when this tragic act happened. I'm not there, okay? Y'all know men go through things, and but they don't go through it like we women. I carried that child in my body nine months, and somebody want to tell me how long I should grieve? Mm -mm, the devil is alive. You know what? Don't put that washing out. I remember one time somebody said something to my sister. And it was told to me. She said, I hope a piano jump out of my pocket and play what the hell for. That's the way I feel right now. Don't y'all feel that. That came from her first. Me second. But anyway, he said in his word he'd never leave us off a sacred. Y'all, he never left me. He never leave us. We'll leave him, bitch y'all, you know. You know how you get on the car and you're driving and you hit that shoulder of the road, but you get the car just in time, pull it back in time. Yeah, sometimes we venture off, we veer off, but that don't change the fact that he loves us. He still loves us. He don't like our mess. Okay? And let me tell y'all something. After my son passed away, that's when my eczema, the stress just blew my eczema right up. And I'm going to get some pictures together. I didn't have this is just a spirit of the moment video. And if y'all want me to talk more in depth on things, you know, let me know. But anyway, my son had one biological daughter. She was in college. The Lord blessed her to graduate the top of her class, y'all, in spite of what she was going through, the loss of her father. Then she went on to get her master's in social work. Now... She have a little boy. I think he's three. And she's getting married in March, a few days after me and my husband's 53rd anniversary. Y'all, y'all, y'all know what? Celebration. Even though things happen, it don't mean that you're not allowed to celebrate the good things. Yeah, things happen. Yeah, my son died. I still love him. Go to his grave. Y'all, it took me a long time where I could not go to my son's grave. Now, you know, I can't pass by the grave without crying for days. Y'all, have you ever lost a child? You know what I said? There's a name for, you know, they got widow and widower, but there's nothing. You know, there's no name for a grieving parent, because there's nothing to describe it. If you lost a child, then you know where I'm coming from. 
And when my eczema blew up, I got sick. They put me on medicine. My hair fell out. I, I may try to find a video that shows, you know, I made a video when all my hair came out, where I had slicked my hair down and everything. But y'all, y'all, look at it. I'm going to have to do this so y'all can see it. Look at that. See, I had to, see, I had to come over this way, or over this way, to really show y'all. Look at that. So I'm gonna find that video and put it with this. But y'all, my daughter had to quit her job to take care of me, and then I started having trouble with my heart. Let me tell y'all, when y'all see me, you're looking at a woman that had a stroke. Yes, and. The Lord was right there. I went through the loss of my son. He was right there. He, he didn't believe us, y'all. And then I had two heart surgeries. Y'all. Y'all look at where the Lord had bought me from. I was, there was a time when I was in a wheelchair. Couldn't feed myself. Just putting two or three spoonfuls of food in my mouth would exhaust me so much I felt like I ran the Boston Marathon. I was in a wheelchair. Had to have help with every aspect of my life. Had to have help taking my bath, putting my clothes on. Someone was waiting on me hand and foot. That's how sick I was. My daughter had to quit her job to take care of me. And the Lord blessed her. She didn't lose not one thing, y'all. Can we get an amen? And, and all this happened. And now... Uh, uh, that I think was last year when they sent me to Chapel Hill for my eczema and they put me on the Dupixin shot and I'm not going to say the medicine that they put me on that caused me to lose all my hair I'm not going to say it because I don't want any lawsuits but anyway they put me on Dupixin and then the, the doctor in Chapel Hill you know, when they run your blood and they see, they say, see your doctor. Because your kidney function, you know, was going south. So whatever, what I was going through with my heart and everything had started to damage my kidneys. And they picked up on it. So now, I'm being treated by a doctor for my kidneys. you at stage this and stage that. But you know what? Every stage you go through in life, the Lord is right there. Let me tell y'all something. Don't give up. Let me tell y'all, if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, that's all you need. And you know, mustard seed is the littlest, the smallest, or whatever you want to say. I made some earrings in a little bottle with some mustard seed. And I'm going to finish them and maybe put them on sale, maybe for $5 a pair or something like that. But this morning, here are some names, new people. It came up in my feed and I watched some of their videos. Dodash, Leslie Ann, and Anthony Layson. I watched Dodash and she was talking about faith and all that. That's what sparked me to make this video. Because like I said, I had been through it. Going through the diet at one point when I was going through my heart. Um, my husband, I didn't learn until later. That my husband had told my kids, said, if you don't see your mama lie, you better come see her now. And they were telling him, you know, we don't know what to do. Everything we're giving her, her body is rejecting. It was a sad case. But you know what? When that human doctor didn't know what to do, Dr. Jesus, he said, uh-huh, I'm on board now. I'm taking hold of this case. All right. Y'all been working at this YouTube ever since May 2017. And I wasn't consistent. I was putting a video. At first, I started putting a video on, on Thursday. Got my husband would go cut grass. And that's when the house was um that's when the house was quiet. All right. You know, no one here but me and him. But you know, you're going in and out, he's working on the car, he's going in and out, door clothes and stuff like that. He played the TV loud, and he don't have problem with his ears. He just got surround sound, and when he watched it like an action movie, he wanted to really partake of that action. 
But anyway, my family stuck by me, took care of me. You know, my every whim was their command. And I, I, when I was going through, when I was down at my lowest, y'all, I did not doubt for one minute that the Lord would bring me through. That's how strong my faith is. You know what? The devil, when I was son died, the devil thought that me and my husband was gonna just gonna curl up somewhere and die. Mm -mm. He thought it was gonna pull us apart. I think it made us stronger. We this past March made us be married 52 years. And um I I all I can say is, but God. My family stuck by me and seemed like I, my whole week was spent going to this doctor, going to this specialist, getting this new medicine. There was one time in the morning I was taking 15, 20 pills in the morning, 8, 9 at night. So men doing noonday trying to get my heart right. They, then when they were showing that something was damaging my kidneys, they didn't know what it was, but it started you know, taking me off certain medicine. Now, y'all, the Lord has blessed me to only take four medicines in the morning. One of those is a low dosage aspirin and two at night. And I take a multivitamin after my dinner. Y'all know God is so good. Don't doubt it. But these people that I just learned. Hey, y'all. Do dash. Hey, girl. Hey. I'm a little older than y'all. I had a few more laps around the sun, but we can all be friends. Maybe there's something you can learn from me, and I know there's something I can learn from you. We, call, we should always be in the mood of learning. My son that died, oh, he was a shark. He drew. He had he had it up here, but you know, like I said, you don't know what demon somebody's fighting. Things happen. But you know what? I have his memory. I have his daughter. Now his grandson. And I have different things around me. Y'all got allergies, so don't mind me if I'm always. But you know what? Just because I went through don't mean that God ain't good. Because when I was going through, you know what it said about the footprints in the sand? There was a time when I didn't see my one foot. God, we walking out here. And there was a time when I didn't see but one footprint. He said, oh, baby. That was the time when I was carrying you. Oh. <laughs> you know what? God. Don't y'all put God in a box. Because when I was going through it, my heart, I couldn't do this. I couldn't do that. I couldn't eat that. Couldn't lay flat. Heart palpitation. The rhythm of my heart just going haywire. I, I didn't doubt it not one bit, y'all. And I didn't realize how close I was to being out of here. But you know what? God said, not so. I got more work for you to do. So you stand back. And y'all know what? I just finished a month serving at the school where my daughter is uh, administrative assistant. Then I would go when I first get there to help her get the papers ready for the sub and everything. Y'all yeah, did that for a month and like four days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, try to help out my community. I am a an advocate for children. When I see something going on that involves a child, I sit up and take notes. Even when I was going through, my granddaughter was expecting a baby. And, you know, we were doping on her, going to baby shower and doing different things. Y'all, you'll never know what life is going to bring you to. So be nice to people on your way up because you never know who you'll meet for you on your way down. You know, same people might be the one help. You know how they say when Moses hold, held his arm out, how those people help, held his, hold his arm up? You never know who might come along and help you hold your arm up. Because when my son passed, 
I thought, oh, y'all, you know, I look, I'm like, Lord, please don't let my child die. Lord, please. You know what? I get, I don't know what. Y'all, let me tell y'all something. I don't care how old your child is. You be there for your child. Our son, he would call us. We would talk for hours. You know, like on my birthday, he would call up and say, Hey, Ma, happy birthday. How old are you? How old are you today? About 100? <laughs> you know, little stuff like that, you know. And he had this little dry wit about himself. Smart. You know, he went to school for engineering, civil engineering. Then he uh, was a computer engineer. Then he started writing and drawing. He got a comic book. I'm going to try to put them. I'm going to try to get in touch with the publisher and get them back in circulation. But y'all, I have been through it. Like I said, when you see me, you see a woman that has been through a lot of trials and tribulations. Yes. Like I said, May 7, February 2017, our son passed away. Okay, through all of that, I got sick. Stuff going on. Head to toe, severe eczema. I was like a size 18, 20. I lost weight down to a size 4, y'all. So now between an 8 and a 10. So I, you know, picked up on a good day, I'm about 142. Well, on a good day, I'm about 143. On a bad day, I might be 141, 142. So fluctuate. But my kidney doctor said I'm at a healthy weight. But let me tell y'all something. Last Friday, I had to go see the doctor for my kidneys, right? I saw him in January. I was supposed to see him in July, but they were all backed up. I finally got an appointment. So I had to go that morning because they said it take longer to get the results back when it's dealing with your kidneys. So when I went to see the doctor, y'all, hey, 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 hey. And she was reading my chart, going through everything, designing everything. She was looking at the kidneys. She said, when you saw the doctor in January, the levels were good. I said, yes. She said, but I'm here to tell you, love, it's better today. Hey, glory. I've been asking people to pray. You know what? I believe in God for total and complete healing of my kidney. They say, oh, the kidneys don't really repair themselves. But you know what? The man up there, he made these kidneys. He made this heart. He made me. I belong to him. So whatever he wants to do with me, you know, I'm, it's like if you got a car in the yard, you have to tell this boom wrecker. You come over there and slash down your car. Hey, it's yours. So if God said, you know what? All I got for you to do is done. Take your rest, child. Well, you know, there's nothing I can say, but he didn't say that. Let me tell y'all something else. I'm a cancer survivor. Yes. What, oh, 35 something years? Y'all gonna tell me God ain't good. Y'all gonna tell me I can't serve a God like that. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all know what? Let me tell y'all something. Okay, let me run this down to you again. First came the cancer survivor. Then came the stroke. Then came the head to toe severe eczema where the medication made me lose all my hair. Okay? Then came two problems with my heart. Leaky valve. My cardiologist said, yeah. When you go out, you need to wear a mask. So I'm going to go to the sewing machine and make me some more mask. Then came the rhythm of my heart. They had to shock me while I was awake because my heart rate had got up, got up over 220-something. Y'all about to go into a massive stroke or a mass, massive heart attack, y'all. They had to shock me twice to get my heart back at the beats it should be. That's why I had to have the second surgery to regulate the rhythm of my heart. Yes. So, and then, after getting my heart together, I was still going to the doctor for my kidneys. Lord was stitching it all together. You know, when it was out like this, and he stitched, and he 
pull that thread, and it all start coming together. So now, when I saw the doctor last week, she said my kidney level was better last week than it was in January, and all I could say was, thank you, God. Thank you, Father. Thank you. And you know what? I had thought about closing this channel out and starting another one. I said, no, you already got a thousand and something, you know, subbies. So why not just try to boost your channel and everything? So, y'all, please help me. I want to get monetized. I know I got a lot I can share with people, the world, whoever, you know. But, y'all, the Lord has blessed me beyond measure. And I don't take nothing for my journey because y'all know this road has been long and hard. But you know what? I stayed the course. I stayed the course. I trusted God all the way. I, I don't know. I don't want to get a copyright strike, but I think it was Tasha, Tasha Cobb. In one of her songs, she said, I trust you with my life. I trust him with my life, y'all. I trust him with, you know, my life is my most prized possession. I don't drive no big, fine car, and neither do I want to. I drive a 2007 Kia Sedona. Y'all, I love that old van. Because you know what? That's the first thing we pay for when we get it. Yeah, we paid for it. My husband said, we're not going to have any, um, we're not going to have any payments. But y'all know what? I was thinking when my son passed, and I was thinking one day when I was, you know, and I said, Lord, I we spent, you know, big bucks to bury our son. And I said, Lord, I would rather have him here to pay for pay his rent or his house payment, whatever, than to have to bury him. But you know what? Let me through it. Hey, you know what? We were there at our at our son's funeral, and y'all, our youngest son, who is a pastor, he officiated the ceremony, and everybody was talking about you know the service. Some of my son's college friends, people he used to work with, came down and everything to his funeral. And me and my husband, we got our praise dance on. We shouted before the Lord right there standing at our son's coffin. Yes, we got up and got our praise on. Because you know what? Before our son died, he accepted the Lord in his life. So I don't care what went on. My son left here. He's now resting in the bosom of the Lord. And, you know, I said, you know, because my son was a dynamic artist, I said, the Lord might need somebody to paint them pearly gates. So he said, you know what? You're the best artist I know. Come on home and paint these gates for me. So I know I see, we'll see our son again. We'll see him again until this time. I got to live this life. That's, I got to live a life. So the law can use me. I want my light to shine. I don't when somebody see me say, you know, there go Corrine. She on YouTube at Thrift and Grandma and, and all she do is walk around looking poor and beautiful. No, y'all can you know, I put up pictures of us when we dress for church when we go out. Yeah, we when we dress, we dress. You know, we dress in coordinated colors and everything. And y'all, this is not this, what we went through, even what I went through that, you, you know, the sickness and everything. I was not sick unto death, thank you, Lord. And if you're a praying person, I'm praying for a total and complete healing on my kidneys, y'all, so I can say, like Evelyn Tarantino, God did it. Everything that happened to me, that was good. God did it. I knew I can't see no one no copyright strike. But anyway, as I see going forward, I'm going to try to get more consistent with my videos, but I just want what I shared with y'all. I had never really sat down 
and, you know, shared it. You know, my husband and I, different ones, we talk, but I never shared it like on YouTube or anything. So if I can find a video where I made a video where I lost my hair, I would put this in the eye of the sky. But y'all, God is good. Okay? And I'm watching the videos of Doe Dash, Leslie Ann, and Anthony Layson. Because I'm over 60. What is that? Get your R's on YouTube. Well, I've been here and it's laying down. Because when I was sick for two years, I couldn't do video. You know, I, I couldn't address myself. So now, I'm back at it. Some of my videos might have y'all shaking your head, but please watch them for me, okay? And I'm trying to get monetized and all that. So if y'all don't mind when you watch my video, help a sister out. Help me join the ranks of y'all. Do dash. Y'all, you know, help me help myself. Because somebody in the video said, don't. Don't say like, share, and comment. What I'm supposed to say. But anyway, y'all, I love y'all. May heaven smile upon you. And I'm going to put this video up. If you have any questions, don't make them personal because if they're personal, if they're too personal, I'm going to block you and I'm not going to answer. But if you have a question you want to ask, you know, if it's not where I think, you know, what you should be asking, hey, ask away. If I feel like I want to answer, I will. If not, ah. so anyway, you know, I got to bring a little humor to everything. So my husband went to run an errand to the auto store. He's working on. He's rebuilding me. He's building me a convertible. Yes, I always loved the Chrysler Sebring. Hey, and my nephew had one that his son left in the yard. He said, "I'm cleaning all this mess out my yard." And when he found out that I always loved the Chrysler Sebring, he told my husband, come over there and get it. So now my husband is restoring that car for me. Hey. Oh. And something else I went, I'm, I'm dealing with, I'm still dealing with, a rare nerve disorder on the right side of my face called trigeminal neuralgia. It is a, um, Nerve disorder is chronic pain. So look it up. It's called TN, but trigeminal neuralgia. Please look it up. So I was dealing with, oh, the trigeminal neuralgia? No. Hold up, y'all. The cancer survival came first. Then came the trigeminal neuralgia. Then came the head to toe severe eczema that took all my hair out and made me dark as cuffy, okay? Because this... You know, if y'all see the metamorphosis, my complexion and my body went through, y'all be shaking y'all head. Then two heart surgeries and now problem with my kidneys. God is good, y'all. And I know if he brought me through that, he'll bring me through this. So hold tight to your belief. Don't let nobody shake your faith. Whatever you believe, keep on believing because one day it's going to come to fruition. I'm, I'm a, you know what? The wind brother made a sign that said, I'm a living testimony. I tell you right now, I'm a living I see people right now, that they'll say, you know, they know what I've been through. They, seen, but they say, you are a living, walking testimony. Yes, I am. And you know what the Lord told me one day? I don't have the pictures on my phone anymore because y'all know these El Cheapo phones can't hold much. And, uh, uh, and and the Lord told me, said, show them. Show them. So I was showing people. I don't, I was showing people. Yes, I was now. He said, show them. I showed them. All right, y'all done try to end this one time. I'm going to keep on trying to end it. But anyway, Whatever you're going through, keep your head up. And y'all know I love mute, so I bring just about everything back to mute. Earth, Wind, and Fire said, keep your head to the sky for the cloud to tell you why. He's talking about that man up there. God in heaven. But you know, you got to go to Jesus. You got to go through the Son before you can get to the Father. 
You know what I'm saying? So anything you ask, ask in Jesus' name. And if it's for you, yeah, it, it'll it happen. I know one time I was drinking coffee and I was supposed to drink the caffeinated. And I pray, I pray when I get ready to drink my water, I say my grace. And I say my, see, say my grace over my coffee. Because I had forgotten, Lord, please forgive me for forgetting to say my grace over my coffee when I first started. Say my grace over it. And one day I was drinking coffee and was not decaffeinated. When I said my grace, I said, Lord, please decaffeinate this coffee. I ain't want anything that's going to rev my heart, rhythm them back up. You know, I was there serving at the school. I ain't want them to have to call no ambulance. <laughs> you know what they say in the video, ambulance. An ambulance. But anyway, y'all, anything you can do to help my channel grow, please reach out. And those three people that I call, yeah, I'm watching your video, and I'm going to put up a, um, I'm going to leave a comment to let you know. And I'm going to ask this question, I'm still trying to close you Why are people afraid to leave a comment and a, and a thumbs up? Why? Okay. Excuse me, y'all. I bet. All right. All right. I'll write you in. Like I said, I love y'all. Keep your head up and keep the faith. Because God is in control. Okay, till the next one. Bye.